He is known for his role as a German social democratic Marxist theorist and politician. He is recognized for identifying errors in Marxist thinking and criticizing Marxist views. His name is Eduard Bernstein. Eduard Bernstein, a prominent German social democratic Marxist theorist and politician, was once a fervent supporter of Marxist ideology. He had close associations with Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, and his early years were marked by a deep commitment to the principles of socialism. However, as time went on, Bernstein's views began to diverge from the mainstream Marxist thinking. It was during his investigations and critical analysis of the Marxist materialist theory of history that Bernstein started to identify what he believed were errors in Marxist thought. In particular, he questioned the Hegelian metaphysics that underpinned significant parts of Marxist theory. Rejecting the notion of an imminent economic necessity to socialism, Bernstein sought to challenge and dismantle some of the fundamental pillars of Marxist ideology. As the protagonist of this story, Edward Bernstein embarked on a transformative journey, breaking away from the conventional Marxist perspectives. His exploration of alternative viewpoints and his willingness to challenge established dogmas laid the groundwork for a new understanding of socialism. Bernstein's intellectual courage and independent thinking would go on to shape his own unique brand of social democratic theory, leaving a lasting impact on the evolution of Marxist thought. Eduard Bernstein, a prominent figure in the German socialist movement, was born in Schoenberg to a Jewish family. His parents were active in the Reform Temple, and his father worked as a locomotive driver. After completing school, Bernstein found employment in banks as a banker's clerk from 1866 to 1878. In 1872, Bernstein joined the Social Democratic Workers' Party of Germany, a socialist party with Marxist tendencies. He quickly became known as an activist within the party. The party, which followed the Eisenacher style of German socialism, engaged in electoral contests against the rival Lasallians, another socialist party. However, neither party was able to secure a significant majority of the left-wing vote in these elections. To unite the various factions within the socialist movement, Bernstein, along with August Babel and Wilhelm Liebknecht, organized the Einigungspartitik in Gotha in 1875. This event aimed to bring together the Eisenachers and the Lasallians. However, Karl Marx criticized the outcome of the Gotha program, seeing it as a victory for the Lasallians. Bernstein later noted that it was Liebknecht who proposed ideas that Marx found irritating. In 1878, Chancellor Otto von Bismarck used two assassination attempts on Kaiser Wilhelm I as a pretext to pass strict anti-socialist legislation. This legislation effectively outlawed the Social Democratic Party, SPD, and led to its active suppression throughout Germany. Despite the persecution, Social Democrats were still able to campaign as individuals for elections to the Reichstag, and their electoral support continued to grow. This turbulent period in German politics shaped Bernstein's early life and political career. It was during this time that he witnessed the challenges faced by the socialist movement and the need to adapt to changing circumstances. As Bernstein himself once said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion, reflecting his belief that history repeats itself and that we must learn from past experiences to navigate the complexities of the present. It was soon after his arrival in Switzerland that Edouard began to think of himself as a Marxist. Forced into exile due to his vehement opposition to the government of Bismarck, Edouard found solace in Zurich, where he accepted a position as the private secretary of Karl Hochberg, a wealthy supporter of social democracy. However, his exile meant that he would be separated from his homeland, Germany, for more than two decades. In 1888, Bismarck's influence reached Switzerland, leading to the expulsion of several prominent members of German social democracy, including Edward. He then made his way to London, where he found himself in the company of Friedrich Engels and Karl Kautsky. Engels, impressed by Edward's zeal and ideas, formed a close personal and professional relationship with him. During his time in Zurich, Edward became actively involved in working for Der Sozialdemokrat, eventually taking over as its editor for a decade. This period solidified his reputation as a major party theoretician and a Marxist who adhered strictly to orthodoxy. His relationship with Engels grew stronger, and he also established connections with English socialist organizations, such as the Fabian Society and the Social Democratic Federation. However, in 1895, a miscommunication led to a distressing incident between Edward and Engels. Engels discovered that his introduction to a new edition of Marx's work had been edited by Edouard and Kautsky in a way that suggested he supported a peaceful road to socialism. This deeply troubled Engels, who wrote to Kautsky expressing his concerns before his death. Despite this setback, Edouard continued to contribute significantly to socialist thought. 
He co-authored the Erfurt Program in 1891 and published a series of articles titled Problem de Socialismus between 1896 and 1898, sparking the revisionism debate within the SPD. His ideas presented a contrast to the positions of Babel, Kautsky, and Liebknecht, leading to a polemic against his stance by Rosa Luxemburg in her essay, Reform or Revolution. In 1900, Edward published Zur Gestik und Theorie des Socialismus. Edward Bernstein's exile and his subsequent development as a Marxist thinker showcased his commitment to socialist ideals. His close association with Engels and his contributions to socialist literature left a lasting impact on the movement. Despite the controversy surrounding his ideas, Edward's commitment to social democracy and his exploration of the challenges faced by socialism have provided valuable insights that continue to resonate in our daily lives. In 1901, Edward Bernstein returned to Germany after the lifting of a ban that had prevented his entry into the country. This marked a significant moment in his life, as he embarked on a new chapter in his career as an editor for the newspaper Vorwärts. It was during this time that Bernstein's philosophy began to take shape and influence his political beliefs. As a member of the Reichstag from 1902 to 1918, Bernstein played an active role in shaping Germany's political landscape. In 1913, he made a bold decision to vote against the armament tabling, aligning himself with the left wing of the Social Democratic Party, SPD. This move showcased his commitment to pacifism and opposition to the growing militarization of Europe. While Bernstein initially supported Germany's entry into World War I by voting for war credits in August 1914, his stance changed in July 1915. He became a vocal critic of the war and, in 1917, was instrumental in the formation of the Independent Social Democratic Party of Germany, USPD. This party brought together socialists who opposed the war, including reformists like Bernstein, centrists like Kautsky, and revolutionary socialists like Karl Liebknecht. During his time with the USPD, Bernstein continued to advocate for peace and social justice. However, in 1919, he made the decision to rejoin the SPD, once again aligning himself with the more mainstream Socialist Party. From 1920 to 1928, he served as a member of the Reichstag once more, contributing his expertise on Anglo-German relations. One significant moment in Bernstein's later political career occurred in 1920 when he became a member of the Parliamentary Committee investigating the question of war guilt. Despite being a member of the bourgeois parties, Bernstein stood apart from the majority by openly admitting Germany's responsibility for the outbreak of war. This courageous stance demonstrated his commitment to truth and his willingness to diverge from mainstream politics. After a long and impactful career in politics, Edward Bernstein retired from political life in 1928. His return to Germany marked a crucial turning point in his philosophical and political journey. Through his actions and beliefs, Bernstein showed us the importance of standing up for our convictions, even when it means going against the prevailing norms of society. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.